everyone should consider a career in robotics because it's a highly collaborative um, endeavor where you need people with lots of different expertise. For example, with our robots, we have artists, we have people who can sew, we have people who build the robots, of course, but we also have people who can program them, who decide how they should interact, and then who go in, look at the way that they interact and evaluate it and come back to the table and plan for the next thing. So within robotics, there are many different places that you can go. For example, in space, a lot of times you can't do a manned mission because it's too expensive or too long. And so robots are having a huge impact on that field because they can go further um, and further <laughs> than we could ever go um, as a human race. Um, hum humans also are using robots more a lot in factories, which is a little bit controversial, but what's great about having robots in factories is that they can start to do things that are repetitive, things that most humans might not find enjoyment in doing over and over again, but also things that are dangerous. Um, so if a robot gets uh, sort of caught up in something and it breaks down, it's um, less tragic, I think, than if a human does it. Um, so there's a whole field of robotics that just does things that humans wouldn't like to do or that they shouldn't do because it can be dangerous. Um, there are rescue robots, which are really fun field where robots can go deep down into the water or go into places, disaster areas, for example, where there might be hazards where it's, you know, you really don't want to send a human in there. Also education. So I work a lot in educational robots and the purpose of doing robots in education is not to replace teachers, but really to support them. I think around the world, there's this problem where there aren't quite enough teachers for all of the students. We really want everyone to have the same educational experience, like, for example, being literate. How do we support the entire world being literate if we're not sure that we can get teachers to all of those places? Technology can be a huge place where we can enable that because it's easier to sometimes send a robot and build lots of robots. It takes money, but um, a lot of times it can be easier to do that than to train lots and lots of teachers. Um, and even if you are able to train lots and lots of teachers, building tools that really support those teachers so that if they have huge classrooms, they can really make meaningful interactions with all of their students. Another great place to be a roboticist is in the health industry. So if you've ever heard of biomedical engineering, it's this whole field where they think about the devices that are needed to help us take better care of people. Um, there are robots now that can be more precise than humans can in um, doing surgeries. There are also robots that can help people uh, be more independent. So um, if they decide that they want to live alone and keep their own place, but they need support in doing things like going up the stairs, getting out of bed, getting into a bathtub safely, that's a great space for robots to enter. There are lots of different places where robots will start to enter the field. And it's important that lots of different people are all making those decisions um, because it's never the case that a robot will come in and, you know, that's it. You know, we've solved all the problems. Humans are always going to be the ones who help the robot do the best job that it can do. And it takes a lot of different humans who are empathetic, who are aware of what the robot can do, what the people who need the robot need, um, and making sure that it's a good fit and that it works well.